stream before this, and I think Sher was in there. Hi ho, wee way. Uh, Sher, are you talking about uh, Jabroni Mike's stream? Get out of my meat house, yeah. Hi ho, wee way, everybody. Uh, him and Frederick Knudsen have been doing like streams where they like look at like weird houses and office buildings for sale on Zillow, and mm. like they just like walk through it and they're like, "What the, f what the hell?" I thought yeah. they were referring to you talked about your family's uh, butcher history. Oh, yeah. Well, th this house looked like <laughs> that. Yeah. It was like I mean, do, can I say what meat... you guys do every year? Huh? Can I say oh, what yeah, you guys do every kinda. year? Yeah. Yeah. Your family tradition. Uh, you guys get together and make sausage every year, like a yeah. secret family recipe. Italian sausage. Yeah. Legal butchering, right? Well, we yeah. don't say what's in the sausage. Secret, secret recipe. Yeah. <laughs> uh, our special guest today is Mike McGannigan. He's back. Hey, What's up? Hey, hey, back. Hi, yeah. hi. He's that's back. me. That's me. That's him. He's right there. <laughs> uh, welcome, Mike. Hi. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Uh, let's get into some stories here. Talking about meat houses right. is getting me thirsty for stories. I don't know. <laughs> get ready for good. store one. Uh. Poll for story one coming up right now. I got to just have this ready. I don't know why I don't like pre-do this. It it, uh, it just, builds the anticipation. There you go. It's just I feel like I'm yeah, like on CNN on election night, you know, mm -hmm. early projections oh, are, uh, <laughs> are showing that selection B will win North Carolina. All right. Polls up right now. We've got... Uh, Somebody okay. breaking into the middle of the night, my room, and checking my emails. We've got a hacker girl who calls herself Leet Tits. And uh, now we got Macaulay Culkin uh, playing Spider Man. Anything's possible now. Yeah. yeah. Now these are all user submitted, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. Uh, and Mike, if you get inspired, we can. Uh, do a prompt of yours for the yeah. End. You can override all the submitted prompts. Ooh, yeah. okay, that's like a special power. I don't want to waste it right away though. I gotta, okay, I gotta <laughs> well, we got two more prompts to go. So. Uh, B and C tied, okay. one and one. Anybody could break the tie. It's anybody's game. Yeah, come on, vote, guys. Come on, what kind of Friday do you? I don't want? know who I'm yelling at. I'm not. Hey. I'm sorry, everybody. Thanks for the follow, <laughs> mommy's little dank tank. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> It's user I think I know that person. Oh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> it's user submissions, but one was written by... I think we just talked to that user, actually. Uh -huh. uh, it's user submissions, mm. but one was written by a famous Hollywood director. Okay, Isn't that interesting. Dang, dang. Oh, yeah, maybe. I think <laughs> it is. Dang Tank's a famous Hollywood director? Uh -huh. No, no, no. User submissions was written by a famous <laughs> Hollywood director or uh, Hollywood director. That's the alternative in Branson, Missouri. Mm. Good old uh, Branson. It, it's a dead heat mm -hmm. at one one. Is someone yeah, like, I know. Like, just saving exciting. it for right at the end so they could snipe? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ten it's like seconds an eBay left. Option. Yeah. Nine, uh, eight, we... seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, someone did snipe it. Someone oh, sniped whoa. it. Uh, it's just C. like eBay. <laughs> C wins by one. Wow. Yeah, exactly. Wow. Just like eBay. Nice. A plus 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 would vote with again. Oh, wow. Yes. <laughs> uh, this prompt so is by. C is the winner. Yeah. Yep. C is the winner. Uh, this prompt is by Kyrel Gray. Thank you, Kyrel. One of our biggest supporters. Yeah. Yeah. Financially, anyway. Okay. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Cairo. Hey, what's up, real Golden Tusk? What's up, Tusk? Golden Tusk? Uh, you are Macaulay Culkin, an actor playing the new version of the Peter Parker character. You've been cast in the movie Spider-Man Home Alone. Okay, I was wondering what the connection was. Your mm -hmm. old co-stars Daniel Stern and Joe Pesci are returning to the roles as Harold Lyme and Marvin Merchants. Is that what actually they're called? I don't know. I, I, I trust so. them. <laughs> the film is a Christmas edition of Spider-Man. It shows the web slinger in action as Santa Claus's assistant. Okay, this is merging a lot of stuff. Wow. Yeah. This is, I like it though. I, I want to see it. Oh, the, and this is why a sequel is being planned. It will be called Spider Man The North Pole is My Home. 
Yes, okay. Joe Bishy is his real name. Nice one, sure. Oh, thank, um, thank you, where sure. do I type again? Where do oh, I type? And, uh, again? Investigations. Investigations. That's where I do. Okay, what? great. You should just change that to type here, Jason. You know what? Yeah. <laughs> you can choose any sense. actor who played Peter Parker for this role. Uh, if you don't want to play him yourself, then you could get your favorite star to do so instead. Perhaps even getting them to reprise. That famous kiss from the first film. There that's where they AI say bump. I love you. That's just an extra like an extra bump for us. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna uh, okay, that. So I know what I want to do here. Oh, I'm okay. Gonna, yeah. Um, no, go for it. Yeah. The kiss we're talking about was where he's hanging upside down, right? I don't think that was the first one though, right? Was it? I guess. Maybe. Yeah, that was Toby Maguire for sure. Yeah, yeah. And Kirsten Dunst. Choose your own Peter Parker, yeah. We cast Macaulay, but we're going to <laughs> we're gonna recast him. We cast him just so we could uh, take it away from him. Uh, so all I do is hit, uh, just type in there and hit yeah, enter, and then right? I copy and paste it in. Yeah, low, low tech. Oh, high tech. okay, you're copying and pasting. I got you. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Uh, if you want to read it out, though, it's like the pony. Experience. Okay, I'm taking control of the film and making sure that Pesci has a huge musical number. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Oh, you should play you that one drop, uh, Jason. Which one? Oh. Uh, about the ass. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'll find that. Yeah, let me. Okay. The movie script doesn't call for much singing you know, at all, yes. but there should still be room for some fun songs here and there during the various holiday episodes. Oh, now it's a TV show. In fact, why not try writing a whole song? Uh, perfect yeah. idea, AI. <laughs> Mac does all the stunts. Oh, okay, yeah, he's the he's our stunt uh, stunt Parker. The musicals get made one way or another. Yeah, definitely. I mean, if it's you know, it's got to be everything, really. I mean, this movie is calling for. It's kind of like the last movie anyone will ever need, basically. <laughs> <laughs> got everything. Say the in lyrics. It. The lyrics to the oh, main Mike's song. Got yeah. Oh, do you? Okay, go for it. Yeah, I'm locking Daniel Stern in a little in a tank, and I'm letting him rant in his tiny little echo chamber. Uh -huh. Okay, he does look insane. I mean, he he always kind of looked insane, but extra. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he is kind of off he the rails. Locked Daniel it. Stern in a small tank with no air supply. Oh no! <gasps> He'll spend many hours cursing his fate before he finally <laughs> runs out of breath. Oh my God! No! Then when he emerges from his oxygen-deprived trance, <laughs> he might. Oh, okay. <laughs> Give the performance of a lifetime. <laughs> wow. That's what we tell the press so we don't go to jail. We're like, we're just Shoot. doing, uh, we're torturing Daniel Stern like Shelley Duvall was tortured in The Shining. It's just for the performance. And they're like, okay. Yeah. Well. I, th I think we've invented a trendy new uh, acting process. <laughs> yeah. boy. Hey, thanks for the follow, Mackinac. Mac Macklanac. 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 <laughs> Macklemore? Um, is this Macklemore? I'm thinking this movie is still missing something though. Like I'm but what do you well, you know it's anybody got in the audience? Or anybody? It's got it's got yeah, musical number crossovers. We've got uh you know a famous cast. Does it have comedy? Romance? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It romance. Have, like, That's romance. what it's missing is romance. Yeah. You're right. All right. Something for the ladies. <laughs> we need a montage. Oh, and we also have thank you, Biz, for uh the festive goblin, present thief played by Christopher Walken. Okay. Uh you want you introduce a new character to the Spider Man. Oh, it's Mac Lamore. Oh. Ah. I got an idea. Oh, I got Festive Goblin here. Let's see what Festive Goblin. This is a user submission. Uh huh. Oh. So they, he like, steals they can presents on for Christmas props. Eve. Yeah. Which is exactly what happened last year, too. Oh. That was a great part that didn't seem right to anyone else, except maybe Kevin Bacon. Now, if oh. only we had a way to work his name into the story. The, the AI is being very che cheeky tonight, like leading in. Yeah. Now, if there was only a subway, we could get yeah, Kevin I know. Bacon. Yeah. I feel like also, it's really... I want to be in that production meeting where they're debating between Christopher Walken or Kevin Bacon. Yeah. You know what? I'd give it to Bacon. Bacon. What has Bacon done in a while? 
Christopher Walken's, you know, in everything. But Walken's so unpredictable. Mm -hmm. Mm, Yeah. Do you? I mean, I I kind of feel like he probably is not, or else people wouldn't want to work with him. I can't (laughs) trust him after that that uh, made for TV hook musical or whatever. You know what I'm talking about with Christopher Walken? I was like, that was so terrible. That was so shockingly terrible. Mm. (laughs) I think they tried to scrub. Was he Captain Hook? Yeah. And he was, mm. it was a musical too. It was very wow. strange. Oh, like, like where was that? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, it was, I think it was like right before the pandemic or something. He played, he played the, the hook. hook, yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, I threw in another, uh, I, yes, I, I'm making yeah. another executive decision about All right, the film. Yeah. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> uh, if you want to read it out, yeah. I'm hiring uh, Macklemore and creating a romance montage with him. He's going to play the heat miser, but he has multiple arms, kind of like Doc Ock. He and Spider-Man are going to get married in the story. Uh, These are great choices. I'm not letting letting the AI force me into taking Kevin Bacon. Okay. If I may may compliment you, Mike, you're like a regular Harvey Weinstein. (laughs) Oh, no. No, no, no. What what, what did I say wrong? I don't understand. (laughs) Did I miss the story? Ten years ago, it would be a great compliment. Uh, I, I, I wouldn't know up, any better. I better look up Harvey Weinstein. Uh, I feel like <laughs> yeah, I some, there. Get on Wikipedia. Yeah, yeah, I don't stay up with the news. <laughs> so Macklemore isn't going to fit in the costume well enough to play, the, well the, enough to yeah. play the villain, though, I think. Maybe someone else like Dwayne Johnson if or Mark Ruffalo would be more appropriate. Highly wow. doubt Dwayne the Rock Johnson, Dwayne Johnson gigantic is a man. Maybe I plays the Hulk, yeah. Yeah. Maybe could I eyeball the costume first and say, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It occurs to you that this may actually be another example of the same phenomenon that occurred during filming for the first. Oh, I got to next that. What? The filming the first what? Yeah. The first movie? Two films. Namely, everyone involved seems to be having such a good time making these movies together. It almost feels like there's something wrong about them. Okay. Why aren't they doing <laughs> other things? Oh, I feel like that's a, I very taxing. Yeah, I, I feel know. like that's a criticism of the Ocean's Eleven movies because they always talked about what a great time they were having shooting them. Yeah, mm. I never wanted to end. Uh-huh. I mean, maybe it's because this movie's cursed and all these actors were just all stuck working on it. Bro. Oh, <laughs> it's like those those shoes that make you keep dancing. Yeah, uh, I didn't know there were shoes like that. We got another that's redemption those, here. You, know. you say. Daily Bugle headline, Spider-Man kills Kevin Bacon. Oh, no, not oh. Spider-Man. Why, Spider-Man? <laughs> Why? That headline wouldn't fly very far. After all, Kevin Bacon has never appeared in the Spider-Man series you know, yet. I can't, I can't argue. This hmm. isn't really the place to make that joke. Wow. Besides, wow, it's the probably AI best like to sassy. avoid jokes Jeez. like that until the third that or fourth really film. That is really rough. <laughs> I've, yeah. I've never seen the AI straight up reject our suggestion. Wow. Yeah, what yeah. the hell? It's the being AI like is a, a terrible improviser. It's being yeah. a very annoying PA. Like, yeah, it's yeah. being... Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, you know, according to my uh, film Discord, uh, it's funny, I was, I was talking to my, my friend the other day, and he was talking about how he loved, I won't say what movie, but they lo- loved a movie that I thought was just whatever. Oh. And he said his friend was a cinephile. I'm like, your friend isn't a cinephile. He's just a guy that watches a lot of movies. Yeah. Hey, what's up, Seven Sage? Spider-Man killed who? Yeah. He, right now he's killing this production of this movie. We're, we he, might never Kevin see Kevin Bacon it. died of six, six degree burns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> seven degrees of burning kevin bacon i mean i feel really shut down by this this ai i've just <laughs> switched it to uh the very random i've up the randomness so we'll, we'll see okay. how it goes yeah let's see what's up joe pesci gets mad at the producer yeah You ask Joe Pesci to have a little talk with the AI. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Is it still the fourth wall when you're talk when you address the AI, or is it like the fifth wall? I don't oh, know. I don't know. Yeah. AI. 
Or is it a wall at all? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I can't believe how badly the AI treated us. We're going to need to do some serious damage <laughs> okay. control. Okay, randomness has been upped, yeah. You need to go to the gym to train. <laughs> We're gonna beat the shit out of the AI. You are Tom Hanks, no, I'm Tom Hanks. an actor playing wow. the new version of the bigger Parker I character. I would love to see Tom Hanks as Spider-Man. <laughs> I'm Spider-Man! Mm. And these are my Spider-Women! Oh, yeah. like Spider-Man and Bosom Buddies? No, I was going to say, uh, David has pumpkins. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah also, bosom buddies. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm Tom Hanks. Now the now it's now it's on. Yeah. yeah anything could happen. <laughs> We're beloved now. Yeah. Uh, you want to read? Read it out. I'm, you know, as Tom Hanks, I'm thinking back to my days on Perfect Strangers, and I'm wondering why my life is is so miserable. Yeah, how did I get here? You know, like COVID <laughs> changed everything. Did. Yeah, what have I done? Uh-huh. <laughs> Tom Hanks, who also starred as Mister Rogers, has what? been cast oh, yeah, in the movie was. Spider Man: yeah. Home Alone. This is the second Spider-Man movie. Of the, of the it is set around reboots. Christmas time and shows the web slinger in action. As Santa Claus's assistant. <laughs> uh, Seven Sage, that might seem very random, but it's just re-spitting out the initial props. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I could see that being very insane, but uh, I'm gonna it, say, it is, uh, but it does yeah. I'm going to say Tom Hanks makes the following demands. Oh, here we oh, go. Like yeah, it. the AI is very good at generating lists, so <laughs> keep that in mind. Or generating, like, jokes and stuff. I wouldn't say good. It it does it. Occasionally inappropriate. <laughs> One, no more than five lines per day, or I quit. <laughs> <laughs> Only Tom Hanks can make that demand. Wow. A chance to sing a solo during one of the scenes. Well, okay, All it's right. a musical okay. time. We can make that happen. Okay. Three, but with five the part lines. Of the villain should be played by a young, hot female actor, preferably <laughs> someone who looks like Scarlett Johansson. But not her. <laughs> I don't want her. I want someone that looks like her. <laughs> yeah, who's Santa Claus's enemy? Also, I feel like two is very easy to do under normal circumstances, but because of one, it's going to have yeah. to be a very brief song. It's going to have to be a very or take months or, to film. Yeah. <laughs> Who, who's going to break the news to Joe Pesci? That's what I want to know. Oh, no. Yeah, I know. I mean, I think Joe oh. assumed that uh, he was going to play the, have the big solo. Ooh. Uh, ooh. Hey, Joe, mind if I come into your trailer? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I got some news. He's dressed up like, oh, why are you dressed up like Mr. Rogers? Well, I I thought it would lessen the blow. Will that He's... work? Oh, here we go. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. If it's good at lists, it, you can you can make it. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Yeah. We'll get recognize that. Okay. Yeah. Or you might say in the following order. Oh, okay. I got it. And yeah. I should put and put you and oh and cats. Yeah, because and stuff we're so yeah, we're the producer or whatever. I got gotcha. you from our viewpoint. Are you gotcha. try triumvirate uni- uh, viewpoint? <laughs> hey Joe, what you doing <laughs> with the gun in your hand? Yeah, mm-hmm. there you go. That's a, it's all about hey, Joe. <laughs> uh, you yeah, who knew music? that song was about Joe Pesci? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Joe. Really? You should uh, sink it to when he shoots Spider in, uh, yeah. in the foot. Uh, <laughs> you tell him the reasons why he can't sing in the following order. Let's, let's see if this works. Yeah. All right. Funny, huh? <gasps> oh, no. One, he is a terrible singer. Well, oh. Joe Pesci <laughs> did have a brief rap career, if you didn't remember yeah. that. He actually was a jazz His singer. His voice doesn't fit oh, with wow. the rest of the soundtrack. Yeah, I, I could see that. Three, yeah. the producers already have someone lined up to play the bad guy. Oh, typecast, mm. Joe Pesci. Wow. Wow. Am I a clown to you? How funny how? 
Yeah, exactly. Ooh, send in the clowns. <laughs> send in. That's send in the clowns. Uh, I'm just going to say Joe Pesci goes berserk. Yes, I love it. Oh, no. I want berserk. No, we do it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. You have to call the police. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Let's next that. Yeah. What? <laughs> what happened? Oh. Yeah. They calmed him down a little, but it seems like the whole thing will have to be settled in court. Okay, okay. Yeah, it keeps resetting after every yeah. prompt now. Yeah. You see the prompt? Yes, and then the. Uh, uh, you hire the hot actress who looks like, uh, just like Scarlett Johansson, who is named. And it'll fill it in. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Oh, oh! Coincidence. Mary Jane oh. Watson. Wow. You were... <laughs> Interesting. That's your n real name. <laughs> wow. Quite a coincidence. Cosmic the coincidence. The producer hires a new director. They are Whoa. both replaced with another director. Wow. And the whole That's thing is retooled into something now. else. <laughs> the whole thing is retooled into something else. That's Hollywood for you, baby. You decide yeah. to try your hand at writing the script for this film. All right. Uh, uh, I I would argue the behind the it, scenes is almost as interesting generate? as the film. Yes. Uh, there we go. Uh, the film is now called. Yeah. And that will get out of Let's here. See. Yeah, let's see if it even sticks to uh, Spider-Man. No, no, no. Yeah, it might be so hard set. <laughs> it went back to Macaulay Culkin, though. Spider-Man Home Alone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, let me see. The, the new name of the film is... is uh. It remembers too hard that it's Macaulay Culkin. Yeah. Uh, it really wants it. It's called Spider-Man Home Alone, but think, it's yeah, completely it's different. Its name. Yeah. Oh, but the villain in the Until movie is now an evil pirate. magician who wants to destroy the world. Cool, like Mysterio. He has the powers of telekinesis and pyrokinesis, so he can throw things really far and also cause fires. Okay. <laughs> he has pyrokinesis <laughs> and he can also cause fires. <laughs> He's Thanks also very good you. at the javelin. Yeah. yeah at, at he also has the power of redundancy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, let's move on to story two. That's a good place to end for yeah. Spider-Man Home Alone. All right. Yeah. <laughs> you might find yourself reading story two and ask yourself, how did I get here? <laughs> That's a fun musical bumper you got there. Thank you. Completely, <laughs> completely AI generated. Yeah, the, the <laughs> perfect musical backing. Yeah. Uh, poll coming. So, up. how do people? How does people submit like one of these three things to? Uh, oh, to, uh, to be. You could join the Discord, uh, and uh, fun, submit fun, it fun. in the prompts channel. So, if you want to submit prompts, you go to the Discord channel, and I'm keeping an eye on them. So, if you submit the prompt. During the show, uh, it could make it into the last story. It has so, happened before. It has happened before. In fact, and it has always, happened Mike, if you... multiple times. Someone has done a hat trick with submitting prompts during the show and winning mm. them all. So, oh. and, uh, and But you get to override all those as the guest, Mike. Yes. Okay. You can just put your prompt in investigations and uh, it'll go right on. Uh, I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking let's, I'm going to, let's do a detective story. Okay. Uh, let's do see, it. So type it in like the, you uh, type it in the, the second tense or the. Yeah. Yes. Or, yeah, yeah. Preferably. Yeah. All right. We'll pause voting then. Pause. We have a breaking prompt. Yeah. I, I send mine through smoke signals. Write them on bathroom stalls and I transcribe them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I summon six other sages and we make a magical circle to send to the gang. You're yeah. like, hey, another fake number. That was a bathroom stall reference. Oh. Mm. 
All right. I guess now they say for a good time now, Snapchat somebody. Oh, <laughs> it yeah. makes sense. Yeah, yeah there you go. <laughs> up to date. Oh, here you we wanna go. Throw your, you want to throw your Snapchat up, Tony? Is that what you're... <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I'll only put it on a bathroom stall. My QR code. I can draw it by hand. Uh, you are a detective. You wake up in the dirt in a dirty office. The door mm-hmm. opens and in walks dot dot dot. Your boss, Mr. Black. Mm. He is not happy with you because of the way things went last night. I am a very disappointed. Bot? He says yeah. to you. If I well, were I guess you, I would, say I would be detective. ashamed. Wow. wow. Jesus Christ. <laughs> and this isn't even related to our job performance. He's just like personally attacking us. Yeah. Right out of the gate. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Black. I'm going to say you file a complaint. Yes. About Mr. Black with human resources. Every detective agency has a human resource department. Mm -hmm. (laughs) That's canon. Mrs. Pink. (laughs) This is all uh, the prequel to uh, Reservoir Dogs. Well, that's all well and good for him to say, but what can we do? Asks one of the other detectives who was there last night. We're just pawns here. Okay, Uh, as detectives, we need to unionize. (laughs) <laughs> it's time. I read that was uh, uh, the. I think we work at a noir detective office. That's something that they would say in a film noir. Yeah, we're just pawns here, guys. We're just pawns. Uh, Mrs. Pinkerton. Yeah, did we sleep with his daughter or something? Something. He really does not like. Yeah. what we've been we doing. Really, we really need yeah. to figure it out. <laughs> yeah, Mrs. Pinker, Miss Pinkerton. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, you're you're fucked if you sleep with Miss Pinkerton. and you're, yeah. you're probably she, dead. She <laughs> tells everybody. Yeah. Like even people she doesn't actually know. She just tells the grocery store, she tells the bank, <laughs> she tells all the girls at the salon. Everyone's going to know when you do Miss Pinkerton. Oh, uh you want to read out your Oh yeah. Uh, so suddenly you remember what happened last night. Hopefully mm-hmm. it'll give us this prompt. I don't know how this, if it'll work this way, but yeah. <gasps> the police have found out where they think the bodies came from oh. a place called the house on the hill. <gasps> it turns out this house has been abandoned since the 1970s when it got caught up in some kind of scandal involving an occult cult or something like that <laughs> or something cult. like that you're the fucking detective <laughs> no for yeah. sure before you start announcing that shit <laughs> and that's what you. happened last night yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. they found the bodies uh you open your dr- desk door the place, they found the place where they think the bodies came from yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Uh, how where did, what were the bodies then? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they came from somewhere else and they came And how did they get here? They were in a shopping mall and they came from the house and now we yeah, find yeah. out. What, what came is that from closer? the house on the hill. <laughs> <laughs> they like they like slid off the back porch and it, the house is on a hill so it just slides it right just down. Slid down into the city <laughs> <laughs> looks it, like just, uh <laughs> looks like it was one of them occult cults <laughs> yeah. like uh, classic occult cult situation yeah oh yeah uh you open your desk drawer and find a fully loaded gun i'm gonna say from the house on the hill. On the hill. Right. It looks like you've stumbled into quite the mess. Wow, this uh, new AI likes to start new stories. Yeah. <laughs> Let me just retry that. We've stumbled into quite the mess. Yep, that's true. Mm-hmm. Oh, <laughs> here we go. There seems no choice but to go after those bodies yourself. <laughs> those bodies are going to pay. Wait, are they, are those bodies are going to pay for making me do paperwork. I'm going to get those bodies. All right. Well, what I'm, I'm going to get a sled and I'm going to get it. 
I'm going to get a sled and I'm going to jump on the sled and chase those bodies downhill. There you go. Nice. Now, if only you could get rid of that annoying little voice inside your head telling you to run away as fast as possible. Oh. And then... This is a dream sequence. Oh, okay. what a spoiler. Oh, Interest. this is a dream uh, sequence. Well, there yeah. you go. That makes sense. I think the little voice That's telling why. us to run as fast as possible is the dream sequence. And dream sequence. Yeah. Now we're do now it's oh, real. Dream sequence. <laughs> uh here we go. Uh, yeah, uh you get out this. Yeah, you get this out of the sled good. and chase the bodies downhill, yeah. The sled's got to be faster than bodies, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, you would think. Or it's going to be like a science YouTuber they're like, "Oh, they fall actually at the same speed." Who knows? Hmm. Your sled breaks down halfway through the journey what? and you realize that you will never catch them before sunrise. This is a big hill. But then you see someone running toward you and you know you'll make it in time. Is this like San Francisco? What? Is this like the hill is just like three miles down? <laughs> before sunrise is the part that really gets me. Why yeah. is that important? Yeah. That's, that's when they disappear on the ground. Yeah, exactly. The, the bodies are going to go into the sewers if I don't the, kill them before yeah. the sun rises. They're mole people. Don't just wreck on my gun. Yeah, sorry. And, I mean, I also love that the sled broke down. I mean, I've been <laughs> taking it in for maintenance regularly. Yeah. I get the engine looked at. I get the oil changed <laughs> all the time. I don't understand what the what the yeah. problem was. I know there's uh, not much to break out of oil. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. yeah, basically, yeah. it has to stop being a sled for it to stop working. Oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yeah, from the IT crowd. I wonder if it's loaded. <laughs> yep. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> nope. <laughs> who's the person running toward us that's the question that's a good question yeah who's running downhill yeah. and it's, well, going, it's they're catching up to us on a sled but you know you'll make it in time right yeah so when you see the maybe person. it's um maybe it's uh uh Catman oh. crothers from the shining because he's on one of those cats oh <laughs> yeah you know, the snow cat yeah yeah, yeah i don't know yeah. It's Jason. I thought oh, you meant a go. literal giant cat. We got a redemption, actually. It is... Uh, you notice it is Jason, a charismatic streamer. Thank you, Adam. Running towards you. <laughs> mm. oh, powered by human, Monster no, Energy Drive. At inhuman speeds, yeah. <laughs> Jason is deceptively fast. Yeah. Especially running downhill. It's all perpetual motion of this... Once this weight gets moving. He's the guy who short, runs. However, and instead <laughs> offers his hand. Hiya, pal, he shouts. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm Jason, like Jason the guy who runs Twitch. Oh, okay, I run Twitch. Yeah, you gave yourself a promotion. There we go. My last name is Twitch. <laughs> Mr. Twitch. Yeah, Mr. Twitch. They call me Mr. Twitch. R.I.P. Sydney Pony. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds that like a drive-by ad. Would be yeah. the, that would be the update to, to Sir with Love. I want to <laughs> just go back. I want to. I want to go back. I want to keep chasing those bodies. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. Thank, thank you for shouting that you run Twitch. How is that helping me catch these bodies? <laughs> okay, yeah. Jason, uh, Jason hauls you on your sled until you catch up with the bodies. Okay, there we go. Yeah, he's like, I need help, right. and we're like, yes. These bodies are deceptively fast. I got to get them before sunrise. Let's not forget. <laughs> yeah, you can't forget. They seem more interested in talking than fighting now, so you don't uh. need to shoot anyone today. <laughs> it's not a Whoa. normal day unless we're shooting somebody as a detective. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Suddenly, you hear a loud noise behind you. It sounds like somebody breaking into your room. <laughs> oh no! No I wonder the, top of the hill. Oh. No wonder the sled broke down. Yeah. We took my room with me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, our entire 500 square foot apartment is just like falling behind us. Like, I like, got my room. This is like Dirty Harry meets The Wizard of Oz meets The Walking Dead. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> now I'm just imagining like yeah, uh, apartments in like uh, yeah San Francisco that are just on like sleds. Yeah, <laughs> you could take. Well, with they're you, just yeah. they're just rolling up like Inception. Yeah. Oh yeah. There <laughs> yeah. you go. Whoa. Yeah, that, my apartment's right up there. Hey, I've been sliding downhill. But I can see you. I hear you. Well, it's a I guess. Home. Uh, oh. <laughs> Can we say? Can we say like it's two hours until sunrise or something? Yes, will yeah. It, will it understand that? Mm, yes, mm-hmm. it will. Yeah. So uh, like it's two hours until sun. I'm just I'm picturing the scene in Dracula where they're racing the sun, you know, and then uh, we're racing to catch the bodies, kind of with the apartment and Jason, and we're going downhill. Yeah, this is like yeah. the horse carriage thing, right? And Bram Stoker's where they're like exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gary Oldman. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's how vampires. Are. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they're not used to riding horses, yeah. so they're kind of you know they're uncomfortable doing it. Whoa! <laughs> a man wearing a ski mask bursts into view, Whoa. holding a gun. As he comes closer, you recognize him as Mr. Black. Whoa! His eyes glow red, and he starts shooting at you. And then. You are a ghost. No! <laughs> what? <laughs> ghost detective. Mr. So, Black, yeah, it was. Well, that's Mr. Black just exactly. killed me. Yeah. yeah, what the hell? Maybe we should cut out the ghost part. Yeah. Uh, I'll say, yeah, uh, you are uh, saved by Tony, Jason's equally charismatic adopted mm. son. Mm-hmm. This is an ongoing storyline in uh, the AIPD <laughs> world. It's that Jason is my adoptive father. <gasps> he jumps onto your sled and saves you from being shot. Wow. Wow. Mm. Tony takes over driving duties while Jason goes off to help the others. Before long, you reach the bottom of the hill. This is the biggest fucking hill in existence. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> really I can't is. believe this whole story <laughs> took place on the hill. Go downside. <laughs> It's now an hour before sunrise. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll say that. Yeah, yeah, say that. It took an hour to, for all that to happen. <laughs> we just went down Mount Everest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, whoa. The snow is getting heavier that now. That explains the why everything was so slippery. Yep. Mm-hmm. You start to wonder how much longer you can keep going. Mm-hmm. But oh. then you spot oh. a small cabin ahead of you. A sign reads, Hospitality House. Oh. Those bodies put up a fake hospitality house is what <laughs> yeah. happened. Trying to get away. <laughs> Those clever bodies. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's written in like clearly dead person's handwriting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah clearly. <laughs> like the like the Chick-fil-A house. <laughs> There's like a finger like just be- beneath where the sign is. Yeah. It's like, come on guys. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I'm gonna say nice try bodies, you say to yourself. <laughs> Good. You yep. enter the house. This might be a trap. I, it's not a trap if I know it's a trap, right? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, come on. Yeah, damn it. No, it's starting a new story. I don't know why. Uh, come on. Just oh, change it to go. you enter the hospital. Okay. Inside. The lights flicker and the walls oh. begin to shake. Uh-huh. Whoa! Suddenly, you feel something cold touch your face. Ah! Mm. Whoa. Before you can react, the ground begins to rumble. Mm. Okay. The ceiling collapses, burying you under tons of rubble. Oh no! Now oh. we've become a body. Oh no. Oh god. <laughs> We're this part is of the whole... body gang. Oh god, this was a whole <laughs> plan. <laughs> After all that. They just make a uh, shitty hut. I'm gonna say a hand reaches into the rubble and pulls you out. <gasps> Ooh, it was it... Barney Rubble. Oh. <laughs> uh, your rescuer <laughs> is none other than Mr. Black. Ah, interesting. Okay. Yeah.
He's like, I might not like you, but you're my best detective. I'm not going to let you just be a body. Sorry about this, he says. I had to stop you from killing my daughter. <laughs> oh, 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 we were oh, right. Wow. Mr. On Black hands you a shovel. Dig me out, he orders. Oh, he's ordering us to dig ourselves out? or mm, That could be... Dig come, me out, he says. Yeah. Or so he's, he's like quicksanding into the ground. Out? He's like... You dig and dig. Keep sinking. He, he's such a, he's still such a hard ass. Yeah, exactly. So one of the he, bodies must be his daughter. Oh, maybe. Mm. Uh, you find Mr. Black's daughter. It's now 20 minutes until sunrise. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I like that. <laughs> it is now 20 minutes <laughs> until sunrise. You regret your email to HR. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, please. We got to get back to the office and unsend that. Yeah. As soon as she sees her father, the girl screams and tries to flee. But Mr. Black grabs her and drags her back to the hole you dug. What? what? No. I'm There's not going to no be a escape party for you, this. dear. He tells the girl. Wow. Yeah. I, I think we need to revolt. There's no. Yeah, we can't yeah. do this. We're we in a good yeah. son situation. We have to choose to like, yeah, uh, our help asshole the boss or the, or, the, or the daughter, yeah, or a Return of the Jedi situation. Thank you. Oh, we're Darth Vader looking at the Emperor and our son. Hmm. Yeah. Do we still have the gun? Hell yeah, we do. Oh yeah, yeah. Throw the shovel down, Admiral Akbar. <laughs> it was a grave. <laughs> <laughs> you said it wasn't a trap there you go yeah oh we're at the bottom of the hill now we yeah and it's 20 minutes until sunrise how about yeah it's 10 minutes until sunrise now uh oh actually uh the sun rises <laughs> the sun and rises oh yeah. god throw down your shovel and point your gun at mr black hmm. you should you shoot nice. and he Falls backwards into the grave you've just dug. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> then everything goes black. <laughs> yes! <laughs> That's I like the that. Title. That's, That's the title of it. Yeah, then everything, everything goes, goes black. Oh, <laughs> uh, credits, yeah. Yeah. I see a red door and I want to paint it black. And then all, all the credits are black on black, so it's just yeah, you can't yeah. even you could like it. You could like barely you have to get make special out. glasses to watch them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> I want to paint it black. Black and black. Black and black. Black and black. Uh, I think that's a good place to add the Mr. Black star. Wow. Yeah, a, that's a, good. You can't go further than that. Yeah. Wow. Uh, all right. Moving on to the last uh, story a, of the that night. That was a good, complete story there. Yeah. That was. It's the last story of the night. Story three. Story three. three. Uh, you got another idea, Mike? Or we can go back to voting? Right, let's go to user submissions now because okay. I think there, there's some more time for some people to submit some stuff maybe let's do it let's do it. let's do it uh here we go here. uh let's check let's see if there's check. any new props and i don't see any so all right poll going down all right. right right the sense building all going up right now. Uh, the new prompt is Vending Victor, a guy who has stumbled upon the world's weirdest vending machine. Interesting. Okay. Huh. Uh, well, what what if the audience uh, is our audience vote? Oh, yeah. yeah uh, you can vote on oh, Twitch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I yeah. See it. Uh, B is taking it away so B far. Is winning, yeah. uh, B by oh, two. Wow. But again, anyone could snipe when I mean, it's only a one vote game. Yep, someone can eBay I this. Think, yeah, anyone can eBay this. Well, people are looking for Leet Tits to take the lead here. Yeah, yeah Leet Tits is coming up. <laughs> Leet Tits is taking it, I think. 
It's going to be very hard to, uh, you know, dethrone de uh, elite tits. Yeah. We try to yeah, make dick, point, dick yeah. shit graphs. Yeah, th that as well. That seems to happen all the time. <laughs> oh. People like Vote Long for Beach. A. Whoa. Oh, someone voting for A. Yeah. Whoa. But, oh, yep. B, B took it. Someone tried to snipe A in there, but they were not yeah. quick enough. Late push. Yeah, late push. A++++ plus 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 great shipping. <laughs> uh, thank you for yeah that ebay so feedback. unconventionally attractive just, just an example of somebody unconventionally attractive like you know um, like somebody with just like one big flaw oh but, okay you know like um i forgot her name now sandra bernhardt oh. yes okay both have gaps in their teeth, I think, too. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're pretty so much anyone, the same. Person. So anyone, yeah, anyone with a gap in their teeth, that's it. So let's let's say it's Sandra Bernhardt is like the idea for who Lee Tits looks okay. like. Yeah. That's in her a hand good, hand yeah, hand yeah. Hand. good scene painting here. Yep. Uh, <laughs> you are on. Oh, uh, this prompt is by. Sure. Why not? Thank you. Sure. 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 Uh, you are unconventionally attractive countercultural uh, hacker girl who calls herself Leet Tits. You have just <laughs> hacked into NBC and laugh. interrupted their broadcast of the series finale of This Is Us. Oh, is, oh. That, a, I'm the, uh, is that the one with the, uh, Where everybody the guy who used to be in the military? Episode. Oh, okay. I don't remember that. I don't know. Yeah, I don't remember that show either. Uh, with it's on face, right now. Oh, really? It's in their final season. <laughs> well, there you go. I that's don't why, I, that's why I don't remember it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> With your face and voice obscured, you proceed to drop the following 10 anti Karen truth bombs. Here we oh, go. All damn, right. 10 of them. All right. 10. Yeah. It's like a show that's like very dramatic and people cry. It's like a lot of unboxing trauma. Okay, interesting. I love that yeah. it went with A, B, C. Karen's father yeah. abandoned her as a child. Okay, abandoned. That, Karen that's... has had sex with over 200 different men in her life so far. <sighs> Woo! See, Karen is actually gay and only sleeps around because she thinks it'll make her straight again. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh, so no. this is, these are all reasonable. This is us plot lines. I'm I thought you. it was I've a never seen the show. I <laughs> also thought it was a general anti Karen message, but we are dropping this bomb specifically on one Karen in our life. Yeah, she knows who she is. <laughs> We're rolling up the populace. With this Just one. one Karen. Yeah, really uh, to rule them all. Karen doesn't really know anything about computers or hacking, but was hired by the NSA for some reason. Now we got some other Karen will get away with whatever she wants until someone stops her. Oh, I feel like I feel like Karen got the promotion we wanted, and this is why we're dry, This is why we hacked because we're mm. like we're using our hacker skills for bad to get revenge because Karen got promoted and we didn't. Mm. Oh, sure. Posted a picture of uh, an AI generation of what oh, Karen looks like. Let's let's take a look here. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay, I can see that. Let me. Here we go. Oh, whoa. Unconventionally attractive countercultural hacker girl. Yeah, that looks like <laughs> that looks like yeah. A, yeah, yeah. I can see that. Different mouth than Sandra Bernhard, though. Yeah, but yeah. I get it. Get it. <laughs> I'm not sure what's unconventionally attractive about this character yeah that's true it seems her skin is a little almost zombie like so maybe that's what it is real weird zombie skin yeah like a dirty face that's that so. person may be you <laughs> or perhaps not okay when all 10 truths have been said it's the out screen after five cuts back to nbc's live feed from backstage at the today Whoa. show mm. as soon as this happens two security guards rush on stage Whoa. to escort off a visibly upset Karen Gillen. Well, wow. is Karen Gillen a real person? Apparently, like Karen it. Gillen is from Doctor Who. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. And I don't know. I don't. You might have just read that anime and then said it, but I like to think that you guessed it because I think I saw yours, your message first before I. She's. I like involving Jumanji. Al Roker. I think Al, oh, involving she's... Al Roker is great. I yeah. She's the redhead in Jumanji. Okay, I yeah, I, I know, yeah. And uh from the Jurassic World, right? 
I never saw those. Oh well. I'm I'm you know, I found I'm very anti reboot. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of bad they're ones never out there. they're just never any good ones. I mean it's and so also far you could few. tell it's like it was probably like a different movie and they just wanted to slap the name on there or something like yeah. you could tell it, it was a different script and they're like, we can slightly morph this to be something else. Kind of like the Matrix Resurrection that's the latest in that line. Mm-hmm. I haven't I haven't seen it, but I've heard mixed. I didn't care for it. I've heard mostly. But I'm not a huge Matrix head either. So, yeah, don't listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> So hey, let's you know let's throw Al Roker in here. Okay, yeah, great. Let's, let, oh, let's do it. Yeah, Al Roker starts hitting on the hacker. Yeah, I like this. Oh, there we go, Golden, Golden Tusk. Tusk. Yeah, uh, Al Roker. Let me tell you about my bariatric surgery, baby. <laughs> Actually, did uh, he have bariatric surgery? I don't I know. So. He, I don't, I think or maybe he did. he did it the hard way. He may, maybe lost a weight on his own, but probably bariatric. Yeah. I'll look that up while we process this. You are contacted by Al Roker, who wants to get with the hacker girl to get with you. Yeah. You reveal your troubled past. Uh, I'll save it. I'll save it. I'll do that next. He did have gastric bypass surgery. Uh, yeah. Al Roker is standing behind one of the news desk microphones. He looks tired and stressed out. Sounds about right. Hi there, he says. Tired I'm and stressed out. I think we've met before. That is uh, such a funny pickup line. Like he's like, I think we, I think we met before. Like yeah. like, <laughs> uh, you reveal your troubled uh, past to Al Roker. Yes, good. Oh, and that we have. Three word action next. So the next action's got to be three words. He seems interested and sympathetic. Yes, indeedy. Well, Al Roker inappropriate. Exclaims, Al Roker. <laughs> Let me guess your father never loved you, right? Your mother left when you were young, leaving Jesus. you to fend for yourself. Very cutting, Al. No, wow. actually, uh, upper middle class family, life. and they loved me, and I still love them. So how's that for you, Al? <laughs> I'm going to say, Al. You slap is Al. He, yeah. Is, is Al, Al Roker? Yeah. And, and tell him, don't neg me. I know what <laughs> yeah. you're doing. Yeah. I know. He, he's also wearing a giant hat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, make it a. Okay. Yeah. Oh, sorry. The look on his yeah. face changes completely. Suddenly he turns angry. <laughs> oh. Oh, no. Please don't do that. Al shouts angrily. Whoa. His eyes Please bulge and veins begin to pop out of his forehead. Al Roker is Whoa. transforming. The, no one yeah. ever, yeah. This is what the camera never shows you because they always cut away. But Al Roker is just like, I'm yeah. a monster. <laughs> Al Hulk, yeah. His, his gastric bypass is reverting. <laughs> <laughs> it's all catching up at once. Yeah. <laughs> Do that. Someone screams gr- his, my, his gastric yeah. bypass. Is the first yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's do that. Uh, anime saying. Anime no. also was saying they. Uh, <laughs> oh, he had a redemption earlier. Yeah, sorry. I, oh, I okay. refunded that because it was like just way past it. Sorry, anime. Yeah. It hurts too much. He moans weakly. To eat any more. What? With great effort, Al rises up onto unsteady legs. His expression returns to normal and the vein disappear from his brow. Oh, okay. He's we saw we saw something Al did not want us to see. Yeah. That, that yeah a, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but his stomach has grown now, so. Yeah, you you realize Al has grown a hundred pounds heavier. <laughs> Fear Let's the end. Roker. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, and then you look and like half the news desk has been has a bite mark into it. He just ate <laughs> whatever was close to him. Ow. Ow. <laughs> oh, oh, whoa. And then 
like a balloon deflating, Al shrinks down to his original size. <laughs> <laughs> He's like a big bullfrog. <laughs> what? Like a bullfrog. Oh! Suddenly, Al Milker is holding a copy of Today magazine in front of him. It reads, "Oh shit! Oh my Sleep god!" Sleep with me, Al says to Karen Gill. <laughs> and on the last day of interviews for Karen this Gillian. is U.S. Yeah. Oh. Interviews for This Is Us. <laughs> Whoa! Al Roker what? is seen lying naked on a bed with Karen Gillan. Oh. Well, IT wouldn't be sex if you didn't make a pussy out of every. Whoa, whoa! Every <laughs> what? Every what? You got, you got a next one. Is this a New York I mean, Post? No, is this the, the tabloids? What the fuck? When yet. Uh, he shrieks at her in the nude photo that runs next to the headlines. <laughs> what? After reading the headline aloud, Al Roker begins screaming obscenities at Karen Gillan while covering his crotch. Oh my god! Wow. <laughs> Al's gone completely berserk! This really tapped into something. Oh, I don't yeah, know. I Collective unconscious yeah. or like some strange thing. I don't the know. Weight, the weight loss was yeah, like, the only thing keeping him sane. We've ruined Al Roker's life in an instant. Yeah, yeah. It's like Today Show <laughs> fan fiction. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Al Roker is just like a secret, like uh, ninja. This is like a Naruto villain, or uh, you know, I mean, One Piece, or how about how about the phrase? Well, it wouldn't be sex if you didn't make a pussy out of everyone yet. I mean, that's, that's a phrase to remember. It's just, it's honestly just word salad. Like, I don't even yeah. know what, is it an insult? Are you, are it's you, hard to tell. Yeah. Is he, are you saying the sex is so good that everyone's turned it into a... Uh, when you're horny, everyone looks like a pussy? I, I don't know what you're saying, uh, Al. You gotta use more words. <laughs> Al had sex with what he hated most. Oh, he's like, don't ever hack the Today Show ever again. <laughs> so you try to calm Al Roker down. Yeah, I'd like to uh, give him offer him his favorite candy not... bar. Offer, okay, offer oh, oh, there you go. Offering him his favorite candy bar. Settle down, Al. Eat the Snickers. <laughs> I feel like he's an Almond Joy kind of guy. Oh. I'm thinking Mr. Big. Mm. It's a Canadian candy bar. <laughs> oh, okay. Wow. Okay. Uh, I was going to say, I never heard of it. <laughs> oh, it's really... It's thinking about this one. Uh. It's like Al Roker, candy bar. Uh, mm. it, divide by zero. Divide by zero. <laughs> Casper <laughs> bypass is in there. <laughs> you know? Somewhere in the novel AI server farm, there's a server smoking right now trying to generate this next one. Yeah. <laughs> Some just blew up in the distance. <laughs> oh, this one like timeout. Yep, there we go. Hold on. Holy shit. Oh wow. Come on, Al. The AI's too busy eating candy bars to respond. That might also be it's it's really doing a whole Pepe Sylvia thread chart. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Al Roker, Candy Bar, Gastric Bias Pass, grew really big, deflated. I don't know what is up. happening. I looked this up, and this is absolutely true. His uh, his favorite candy is the giant Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. It's nine inches across and five pounds. What? <laughs> What? <laughs> what? I, I swear. This is what happens when I looked up Al Roker's favorite Al, candy bar. He's like, it's you. like he's like, I was wishing they would invent this and they did. Oh my oh god. That's a quote from Al Roker. I might have did to you say here. five pounds? Yeah, it's five pounds and nine inches across, apparently. Wow. I've seen like wow. ads for it. I've like, seen like the peanut butter pie where it's like a pie size. That that's it. I think that's it. Yeah. Not made to be enjoyed all in one sitting, but Al does. Well, I uh, one person. unless you're Al Roker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow, it was really does not. I think we just we deleted their servers with this prompt here, <laughs> or they went down conveniently right now. 
Yeah, yeah maybe. very convenient. Yeah. Well, we're at, Al we're Roker. At Al Roker's anyway. trying to get his favorite candy bar wiped from the internet. Yeah. Oh, here we go. But Al is having none of it. Oh. Instead, <laughs> he grabs the magazine and throws it across the room. I can't believe they're printing this garbage, he shouts. Then, suddenly, Al collapses backwards against the wall. Al really oh. stole, stole the story away here. This is like it's the sliding bodies again. of the story. Yeah. It's happening again, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, uh, falling backward counter, yeah, exactly. You watch as Al begins to transform into... Oh! Al Roker is now transformed into the obese Al Roker seen in Today Magazine's cover photo. Oh no! Oh, he glares that's why at he was Karen so Gillan, who is still sitting cross-legged on the studio floor. <laughs> he really does not like Karen Gillan. Yeah, really. This uh, might be the the plot of Jumanji Three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, Jumanji the video game starring Al Roker. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> Uh, I feel like Karen's got Karen finally stands up yeah. and speaks and speaks directly to Fat Roker, Fat Al Roker. <laughs> Fat Roker. And tells him tells him three cutting remarks about his personality. Yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> Wait. So Al Roker okay, here, a... she says with a sarcastic tone. How many women did you sleep with today? Oh my God. <laughs> Fat Al Roker grunts. Grunts. About 600,000. <laughs> okay, Al. 600,000. I, I didn't Bro, ask you how many calories you ate today, Fat Al Roker. I yeah. said how many women did you sleep with? <laughs> and it just started calling him Fat Al Roker. Now. I know, that's great. <laughs> yeah. Oh god. <laughs> it was a good day. <laughs> yeah. Re oh, remember the name Lee Tits. Yeah, I think that's a good thing to Yeah. You say remember the name Lee Tits. Yeah. Perfect. A new screen pops open. The words 1337T1TZ flash repeatedly. Thanks, Oprah. followed by several lines of text. Oh. Karen will get away with whatever she wants until someone stops her. Oh, <laughs> that's like the, that's like Dakota. The yeah. <laughs> that person may be you, or perhaps not. B. Remember the name thirteen thirty seven T one T Z. C. The next time you see me, I will be able to take over your entire body. Wow. Whoa. Wow. So Karen Gill was the villain all along. Oh my God. <laughs> crazy <laughs> Al Roker was the hero all along I know and we, we wow. him. Yeah. What a flip. wow this is like a kung fu hustle yeah or something like this is one of the fights but Karen didn't even do anything like she just sat there on the floor and we just watched Al go freak out Just he just couldn't do anything and more <laughs> She'll keep refattening celebrities until we stop her. Exactly. Yeah. We we hacked into his ga gastric bypass surgery. We don't know how, but uh... what a villain! Yeah. What a villain! Oh my god. Oh no. Karen Gillan is murdering celebrities by refattening them. Oh, mm. tune in next week when Leet Tits gets to Adele. Yeah. Oh, no! Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no! That's why she canceled her residency. Or oh, moment. my God! Yeah. Well, <laughs> what a wild adventure. I never thought that I would <laughs> see Al Roker go <laughs> as berserk as he did there. Uh, thanks for joining us, Mike. Yeah, thanks for having me. That was fun. Yeah, yeah. That, was, that was awesome. Uh, do you got anything to plug? Any podcasts, streams, shows you've been working on? Uh, you know, there's some shows coming up at the Planet Ant. Um, Including one where we're Friday and Saturday nights. Ah. Yeah. Check, it, uh, check the website, planetant.com, for all the okay. stuff that we're doing all the time. The show's I'll just got shorten a name? With that. Join the Planet Ant Discord, too. Oh, uh, Whiteout is the name of the show we're working Whiteout, on. yes, that's what. Yeah. I admit, I'm very Whiteout. excited for it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, hearing the premise was has got me. 
Oh, check the Discord. Al Roker doesn't exist. Hold on. Let's see. Whoa, what is this? That this username is, is not taken? Oh, oh. <laughs> Alfred this Roker from the Today Show. The pain is too much. Wait, what is going on <laughs> what? here? What is this? Al Roker, the guy from the Today Show. The pain is too much. Al Roker, <laughs> today, the pain is too much. What is the pain is too much? <laughs> Al yeah, all, <laughs> what is the, this? It, yeah, all these are women, women, guy, women, women, women with yeah, wow. strange, wow. very strange, but I love it. Yeah, <laughs> all AI generated. Yeah, it, it just does not. Maybe Al out. Roker is AI generated. Oh my god, <laughs> we're onto something. Well, there you go. Yeah, uh, thanks, sure, for generating all those pictures again today. So, and uh, yeah. Have a good weekend. See you Sunday for AI Generated TV or see you Monday for more adventures. Uh, join the Discord. Submit your prompts. And see you next time. Bye, Ho Wee Wee, everybody. Bye, Woo! Wee Wee.